Hello and welcome to Brooklyn, New York and welcome to the Revel Fast Charging Park. This is the first charging hub in New York, essentially with over 20 DC fast chargers charging Tesla vehicles, CCS and Chatabo. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a full tour. <laughs> Now, as a little bit of a funny joke, I brought our Winnebago Revel, we've driven this across the country a couple times, to the Revel Fast Charging Park. I thought this would be a fun play on words and it was worth driving this big behemoth all the way into New York City just to make that little joke. Anyway, let's take you on a quick tour of this pretty impressive facility. Leaving here, you can see a Tesla Model 3 that just pulled up, plugged in over here to the Chatamo adapter to the Tesla, which comes free of charge from Revel and juiced up about 10 or 15 minutes to get them on the road. Pretty neat. Now, one of the many problems, and I would argue the largest problem of electric vehicle adoption is how are we gonna charge all these cars? I think the case used to be, do the cars have enough range? Are we gonna be able to get across the country? How are we gonna live with these things? How are they gonna hold up from a long-term perspective? And these problems have all been, for the most part, solved. The question now is, how are many going to be able to live with electric vehicles if they live in an apartment, if their home charger for whatever reason doesn't work, if they're coming to town to visit and their hotel or friend's house doesn't have charging, or if they drive a lot. What if you're a Tesla Uber or a Bolt Uber, for example, you need to be able to charge midway through the day. And I think this facility, uh, if it can be profitable for Revel, I don't know what the financials are, might be an interesting model to look at going forwards. Let's take a look at this installation, all of the units, the power that you can get from them and the cars you can charge here. I'm pretty excited. This Revel facility is located in a busy section of Brooklyn. You can see a lot of people walking around, a nice fence here, but then an opening, of course. It is a 24 hour a day public facility. This building around the backside does have public restrooms. And while they weren't able to be on camera, I had a chat with some of the directors of this facility to walk me through everything I'd like to show you today. And they sort of said, hey, look, we'd like to add vending machines and amenities and other things. This is so new. This just went live this past week that they just had to get the chargers in and we'll see more. One of my main concerns with charging is the safety of DC fast charging, especially in an urban environment such as New York City. So what we have here is really bright illumination. The chargers themselves also light up, which I think is great. You have this nice big open environment and you can see littered every everywhere are security cameras. So I think that is a really nice reassuring feeling, especially if you're charging here late at night or very early in the morning. Now, Revel doesn't just want to install DC fast chargers. It's my understanding that they have 30 Tesla Model Ys. I'll show you them in a little bit, just on the other side of this gate. And these Model Ys are gonna be used for their own in-house ride sharing service. And Revel is not a new company. They have been using uh, or providing, I should say, mopeds and other forms of micro mobility in different cities around the country and they're now breaking into the EV world and what a way to do it this is uh, one of the most insane fast charging parks I've been to not the only but the only on the East Coast. So it seems like Revel has partnered with Tritium Chargers. They're out of Australia. They make really cool chargers. And as far as I'm aware, these are the first installation of these new V-Fill chargers. These particular ones are a 75 kilowatt unit and they are essentially just a CCS Chatamo charger. It's really nothing that fancy. And then the way that they're able to advertise that they charge Tesla vehicles is Revel went to Tesla and purchased a whole bunch of these Chatamo adapters, which go from this Chatamo unit, of course, to a Tesla charging standard. I showed you that Model 3 charging here before, and that's how you're able to do all three. So any DC fast charging capable EV in the US you know, with the exception of a few oddball non-production units uh, can be charged here. So Bolt, Leaf, Kona, Nero, Lucid, Taycan, Tesla Model 3, any Tesla, of course, except the early Roadster uh, can all be charged here. Doesn't matter. It's a totally brand agnostic charging location, which is amazing because there aren't even superchargers in this area for Tesla vehicles. 
So imagine this, you're coming into town, you're an Uber, for example, or a taxi company, and you drive a ton of miles. You can pull over here into the Revel charging facility. They have dedicated handicap spots, and then they have these open units, the rest of them here. You would back in or pull into the charger of your choice. You would then plug in your vehicle, whether it's CCS, like this, or a Chatamo, or you can unhook the Tesla adapter and use the Tesla plug. You would then tap your credit card to start charging, and then that would initiate the charging session on your vehicle. It's as simple as that. I love that they don't make you download their own particular app. They don't even have their own app. It's just pay with a credit card. And current pricing is 39 cents a kilowatt hour plus tax. So it's gonna be roughly about 42 cents per kilowatt hour. And personally, I think that's a great charging rate. You know, it costs millions of dollars to install a station like this, not hundreds of thousands of dollars. And then you have to pay demand charges. Uh, New York is working on removing those, but I actually, I don't know. I think demand charges are probably a good thing. The grid is stressed and dirtier at the hottest part of the day when it's most stressed. I think you should encourage users to charge DC fast charge at least at different times of the day. Don't not allow them to charge in the middle. They just charge them more. But right now it doesn't matter. It's unlimited service uh, at any time of the day for 39 cents a kilowatt hour. You can come here, plug in. I even asked, you know, what happens if you bring one of those electric trucks like an electric Tesla Semi or a Freightliner E, excuse me, one of those combustion vehicles, or if you bring a Freightliner E Cascadia, for example, they said, look, if there's room right now, they can plug up and go. They said they've had a maximum of about 10 cars here at once so far. And again, we're just a few days into operation. That's pretty impressive. So you can see over here, these are all of the Tesla Model Y that they will be using for their ride sharing program. And a couple of them are wrapped blue. Uh, but right now they do not have the medallion required, I believe, for all of the vehicles to operate in the New York City area. So for now, this is just a purely public DC fast charging location. It was intended to charge the Tesla Model Ys. And once those go into service, they certainly will be charged here. What a cool idea to be able to charge your own fleet of vehicles plus the public in one centralized location. I think from a cost perspective of installing these chargers, you're already running the electricity. It's much more profitable or I should say le or more cost effective might be the word. I don't know if this would ever be profitable, but I think it's much more cost effective to install a centralized hub for DC charging rather than putting two stations here, two stations on that corner, two stations over there. That's just a lot of expensive installation. At least here, you just do the whole thing for an area in the neighborhood and might be the new standard way of operation in dense urban environments. I really like this idea of a big fast charging park. And there you have it. If you're in the New York area, I would suggest coming by and checking this out. It's certainly a sight to see all of these new Tritium 75 kilowatt units. I did ask Revel. They did say they would like to up the chargers to that 200 to 300 kilowatt range in the near future. I don't know if these will be expandable. I don't believe these units are really interesting because they actually uh, do all of the AC to DC conversion on board. So each of these chargers have a three phase AC connection running to them and then do the actual charging of the vehicle internally in each one of these units. Electrify America stations, Tesla superchargers, for example, have cabinets that are stored in a different location, and then the conduit that goes to the charging ports are actually just DC powered right to the car. The, ca the, the user handles, more or less, are just dispensers of electricity. Here, though, each one of these is their own individual charger. And I think moving forwards, that's not going to be the, the move on these big fast charging parks. What I would love to see is some sort of centralized load sharing uh, technology that would feed a ton of posts. We're already seeing this with level two chargers, and then I think it might be the best way to handle a big DC fast charging park. That way, you're not leaving room on the table. If you have a Leaf charging, and then you have a Tycon charging, each car doesn't need the same amount of equipment, but if you can balance out the whole site, then you can at least put as many chargers as possible given the amount of power given to that area that the power company can deliver. Anyway, like I mentioned, if you're in the New York area, come check this out. 
come charge your car, of course. I did not bring an EV, but we did see that Tesla charging. The charging itself isn't all that interesting. They're 75 kilowatt DC fast chargers. You guys know we use faster charging. So I didn't think it was that necessary to bring an EV over. But at the end of the day, I thought it was really neat to check out what could be the future of EV charging in dense urban situations. Thanks so much for watching another video here on the channel, and we will see you on the next one, leaving you now from the Revel Fast Charging Park with the Winnebago Revel.